Austin's obsession with race gets thrown back in her face. Today's video comes to us from sunny Austin. Sounds like a town. We're in sunny Austin. <laughs> she was on PBS's Finding Your Roots, a show dedicated to researching celebrity ancestry. For context, Sunny is a staunch supporter of reparations and has made a fortune spewing nonsense about white privilege and racial justice. Well, turns out she's not as oppressed as she claims she is. She's actually the descendant of slave owners from Europe. Here's how she took the news. Roll it. Wow. I'm, I'm, I'm in a little bit in shock. I, I just always thought of myself as Puerto Rican, you know, half Puerto Rican. <laughs> I didn't think I was... Uh... My family was originally from Spain and slaveholders. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So how are you feeling, my friend? Um, I just, um, I think it's actually pretty interesting that um, my husband and I have shared roots. Yeah. So I, I do appreciate that. Um, and I think it's great for our children mm -hmm. to know this information. Um, I guess it's a fact of life that uh, this is how some people made their living on the backs of others. Fact of life. Interesting change of tune. <laughs> for more, we go to our chief, Sonny Hassan correspondent for a reaction. <laughs> Lou, is this karma or what? <laughs> um, well, first, I just want to go on the record um, to let everyone know that I am very much against slavery. <laughs> okay, <good. laughs> Very brave to say that on this panel. Uh, <laughs> Um, I, I, you know, karma, definitely. I mean, it's, it's one thing. I, it's going to be so awkward on, you know, new episodes of The View when she tries to pull the race card. Yes. And then she's like, America is racist. And then they're like, yeah, they might be racist, but they're not like slave owner racist. <laughs> like, like somebody that we, that we That's know. so true. You know? Oh, I'm going to milk this till the end of time. Yeah. You're right. Anytime she says something stupid, I'm going to go, slave owner. <laughs> Kat, I w just watched that. That's the second time I've watched that. She was tipped off beforehand, right? Because she had it. They had to tell her before, so she had time to regroup. They wouldn't just really? surprise. Do you think? No. I don't. I don't know. I feel like she could have maybe done better. Okay. Here's the thing. <laughs> One thing, and I would have even actually not give her any <laughs> is she said, "Well, like I guess that's just what like they did back then." Yeah. She should have followed that up with saying something along the lines of, and I understand that that's a departure from the way I've talked about this before. <laughs> <laughs> that was like, to me, the one thing that was missing. Yeah. Right? Because it's like, okay, now that you have this information, has that, do you have, have you had any personal growth? Do you think about things differently? You have to acknowledge that. Yeah. Because when you're presented with new information, it's okay to change your mind. It's good to change your mind. But you should acknowledge that that has yeah, happened. Exactly. Because if she is shaming descendants of this will she continue to do that when she is now one of them dana and it is funny she's so wrapped up in identity and she had no idea who she was well now we understand why she always makes Whoopi get the coffee oh. <laughs> That's not true. That's not true. <laughs> but you think about things that she said and how yeah. offensive they are. Yeah. Well, karma. Yeah, it is karma. And that's coming from someone who's descended from the Keebler elves. Yeah. <laughs> you make a mean cookie, and now we know 23 why. 23 and me was so confused. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you your family lived in a tree trunk. <laughs> <laughs> Joe, your great grandfather was actually Pinocchio. <laughs> Why does it, when you get insulted, people feel bad? Because they love me, Greg. <laughs> <laughs> Great Giannis. 
Greg, uh, you know, in, in her defense, mm -hmm. everyone has ancestors that did unspeakably horrible things. It's just that not everyone's ancestors have records tied to their their mm -hmm. DNA about it. But I'm more worried for Sonny Hostin's progeny in the future <laughs> that do a, a DNA test and find out that they were related to a cast member of The View. <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, oh, it all makes so much sense now. <laughs> Why I'm so stupid and fat. <laughs> All right. Terrible. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.